Hey everybody, I am Dinah Housefire, and I'm here with your fast food and junk food reviews. And today we're talking all about weird ass Oreos. Because Oreos have gotten a little big for their britches lately. And they just seem to believe that if they throw weird flavors in, people will have to buy them. And so I bought them. So there are some that are Oreo Thins, and I'm hoping that's what it makes me. So I'm gonna start with the Oreo Thins pistachio flavor because I like pistachio ice cream and also they're green for some reason. Thank God they're not mint. I can't open the thing. Ugh. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Crushed it. You thin because of the exercise of opening the damn packet. Well, thin is right, bitch. Where's the Oreo? This looks like a, a token for Chuck E. Cheese or something. To make this an accurate representation of how I'm sure you'll eat these at home, we're gonna be dipping into 2% milk from a cow's teat, as opposed to almond milk, which is from an almond's teat. Okay, it's very crisp, very crunchy. It tastes mostly like an Oreo, but then on the back end, you get that little wang of like, I mean, obviously it's pistachio, but like you get that like little extra flavor, kind of like pistachio ice cream. I'm kind of into it. I'm, I'm not mad at it. Wouldn't kick it out of bed for eating itself. I'm worried for my safety. Um, this is carrot cake Oreo. They seem to be standard size, not thin or double stuffed or anything else that makes people open up your grinder profile. Carrot cake is already not really cake, and they gonna make a cookie out of it. It's the color of sadness, but we'll, we'll journey through. It says it's cream cheese filling, which I am into cream cheese, just usually on a bagel or, you know. Oh no, it popped open. Story of my life. Well, it tastes like carrot cake. This is like the pumpkin spice latte of Oreos, and I'm big mad. Why? Why did they do this? And why did I have to buy a whole family pack? Because I can't throw them away, they're cookies. They've always been there for me. Oh, I rebuke it. While things are already terrible, let's see if they can't get worse. Oreo thin and mint. Things that I don't like in my mouth. Andy's mints are weirdly like an exception. I, I can get down with a single Andes mint and be okay. But oh no, it smells like toothpaste. But miss me with all the, the crazy, the th Girl Scouts, I need you to reallocate your resources. Stop making Thin Mints, they're disgusting. And make more Samoas. And we love you for them. And we appreciate that you support like feminist rights and, and shit like that or whatever. But I mostly love your cookies and that you keep little girls far away from me. It eliminates the competition. Okay, we're dipping. We're really reconsidering our line of work. Okay. Mm -mm. I don't like it. <laughs> mm -mm. Oh. I would much rather go to the dentist than to pretend go to the dentist and fuck up my dessert. Oh, this is awful. Why, Oreos? I thought we had an understanding. I would keep you in business and put your kids through college and you'd help me eat my feelings. Fuck everything. Do you need a shot again? I might need a shot. What do we, Beyonce take the wheel. <laughs> here's to you and here's to me. Best of friends will always be. <laughs> and if not, fuck you, here's to me. <laughs> Now we're gonna move on to some Oreos I'm really excited about, as opposed to the ones that gave me nightmares and will probably haunt me for the rest of my life. Um, this is Oreo Thins in flavor latte. Excuse me, latte creme. Um, and I am excited about that. I do drink a lot of coffee. I love the flavor, especially when it's like a, in a sweet application. We'll see. You know, I'm still just thinking about those pistachio ones. Those were weird as hell. Latte Oreo. Okay, appropriately dunked. I don't taste the coffee. Like there's something in it, but it ain't coffee. In all actuality, I drink like jet fuel coffee. So if there's not um, like a lot in there, I'm probably not gonna taste it very well. 
Um, because I like my coffee like I like my women. Angry. I'm not mad at those, but they're nothing special. Like, just get a regular freaking Oreo. They're perfect already. Oreo, you were already perfect. Please stop changing. Again, with the family size, because they don't apparently sell small rolls of Oreos where I shop. Thanks, quarantine. I don't know if we can blame Obama for this yet. Thanks, Obama. These are chocolate marshmallow Oreos, and I don't know what that means in practice, but I have very high hopes, because that's like, that's like a take with you s'more, kind of, without the shitty graham cracker part. <laughs> Let's be honest, the graham cracker is a vehicle. Hot take. S'mores don't need you, graham cracker. It says there are marshmallow pieces in the cookie. Oh, with chocolate marshmallow flavor. Oh, that's not, I, Mark, this is not what I anticipated. Why are Oreos so hard to open? This is stupid. Okay. It's too bad you're not a lesbian. It's too bad I'm not a lesbian because now my fingers are very strong. Is that what you're saying? I did do a two finger test to make sure I could still dip my, this looks weird. This looks like a mistake. And so now I'm worried about my s'mores comments. I might have doomed myself. There's like a, um, I don't know if you can see it. There's like weird, like white speckly things in there. And then the cream itself is chocolate. You'd think it'd be like a marshmallow cream since that's what marshmallows are for. Creamy, delicious, gelatinized sugar puffs. Look it up, it's true. Marshmallows are the weirdest thing in the world. We're dipped. We're nervous. <laughs> Bitch. It's like, if they had took Lucky Fucking Charms and fucked a bag of Oreos with it, this would be their baby. I'm into this. I'm taking these home. I'm gonna watch a sad movie and cry and eat all of these. I might marry these. I don't know if that's legal actually, and they probably eventually mold. So I'm gonna just eat the hell out of them. I hear you stop doing that once you're married anyway. This is the last one, and this is like the special edition one, which I'm really excited about, but also it's strange. So let's go on this journey together. These are um, co-branded with the sequel to the Trolls movie. These are Oreo, uh, Trolls World Tour, whatever. Oreo green colored cream with glitter and popping candy. I always told you I would eventually shit glitter. Bitch, it's my time. Okay, I'm very excited. I'm gonna crack this one open because I just need to see. Okay, it's she. she's green, which is as promised. There appear to be like little bluish speckles, which I'm hoping is Pop Rocks. And I don't actually see the glitter, which is upsetting. Am I missing it somewhere? Do you, is, there, is there glitter here? Presumably, they are just Oreo flavored. I'm excited about the Pop Rocks. <laughs> hmm. I can hear it now. I'm delighted. <laughs> Okay, Oreos come through. Maybe just change when a new Trolls movie comes out. Oh, this is, this is fun. Oh, Oreos. It's like tiny applause. It's just what I always wanted. Just kidding, they're delicious as hell though, get some. There's apparently a pink version of these, but, or purple or something, but they don't have Pop Rocks, so like, what's the point? My mouth is still popping. <laughs> I am very impressed, Oreos. This is really what I was hoping for. And to be honest, you decided to put shitty mint cream in some of your other ones when you turned it green. This is a delight and a privilege, Oreos. Thank you for welcoming me back into your family. I should have never left. But then you do shit like carrot cake. And I'm Dinah Housefire. And I'm here for your own damn good.